Hello gaming and welcome back to Subnautica. So, I've been playing for a very long time, getting everything set up to go down into the depths. I actually uh, got everything I needed. Uh, I have all of the stuff that I need for upgrades, uh, both once we reach uh, the location for the new base, and everything that I need for uh, uh, for upgrades uh, on the way down to the base. As you can see, I have all the things that I need to upgrade on my way down to uh, our base location. Two, four, six, seven, okay. Uh, so that way I know exactly what I need and exactly how to use it. Uh, so, yeah, I I'll literally be uh, doing upgrades to my vehicles on the way down. Uh, and the reason why I do that is because it's the easiest way to make, uh, to make, it's easier to do it this way than to have to worry about it later on. Uh, if you know what I mean. It, 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 it's like, uh, the crush depth gets so big as you go down that you want to make sure that you upgrade as far as you can before you get to your base. And then once you're at your base, you still have to grab some things from deeper down in order to start uh, actually moving in, in, uh, in order to have enough uh, uh, whatever to, to get all the way down there. Uh, or enough crush depth to get all the way down to the to the bottom. Uh, but as you can see, we have all of our uh, all of our upgrades in here. We've got uh, our food growing already. Uh, I've got various things that will be put into the base. And here's the modification station, so we can modify things on our way down. Uh, I have. All of this stuff, as you can see, I've got upgrades. The stuff that I need for upgrades is in here. Uh, interior uh, things that I need to build when I get down there. The reinforcements are in there. Uh, the scanner room, the moon pool, uh, and the main room, and thermal generators. It's all here. I've got food and health. I've got water. I've got all of this extra stuff. Uh, I've got an extra creature decoy, because it houses five, and I have six. And these are things... Uh, uh, I need those for one of the upgrades. Which upgrade was that? I don't remember, but... I need those for something that I need to upgrade, and I didn't want to put with the other upgrade stuff for some reason. And I'm sure I will completely forget about them until suddenly I realize, oh! That's what I needed these for. Anyway, let me go and load up the prom suit, and we are going to head out to uh, our next adventure. Alright, I was a little off center. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. So, our prom suit is loaded up. I can enter and exit it. I love this thing. I can access all of our upgrades. I can access our storage. Not that there's anything in storage right now. But we are all set to go. We'll turn those off. Not that it really matters. I'm going into sil silent running. Okay, so we're heading toward Life Pod 2. Uh, first, I'm going to break silent running. Which means that the entire interior cabin is red. There's your aurora. Did I? Hold on. Let me exit. I wonder if I forgot to turn Life Pod 2 on and off again. Oh, I, I had it turned off. Okay, so now Life Pod 2 should be visible. Where are you? Life Pod 2 is way over there. Now, because this boat is so big, we can't take it straight through the shallows. We have to go around. Uh, because it's too big otherwise. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it through the canyon here. 
You can put it as far on the top as you can, but ultimately you cannot make it through the safe shallows in the Cyclops. I usually like to drive using the camera. Oops, not what I wanted. Camera light, okay. I'm gonna turn the light off for now. No, I'll keep it on, never mind. There is a big boy there. So the reason why I go through this area is because it's one of the only entrances that I know of to uh, the underground river, the under, the undersea rivers that's big enough to fit the Cyclops. And like I said, I built, I built this thing with the intention that I am going to take it down there, build a base, and have everything that I need for that base uh, in this. So, interesting. Uh, apparently I killed that thing. Well, that's probably not the only thing I just killed. Okay. Alright, I think it's time to start diving a little bit. Oh, maybe not. I see a ridge. Okay. I think we're good with the ridge. We'll probably end up seeing... I know we'll see the ghost leviathan. Uh, but we might see the, the one when we enter, instead of the one after we're inside. Okay, through the creep. Do we should start descending soon. Not what I wanted. Keep forgetting, it's left mouse for um, light. It's right mouse to exit. Slowly we are approaching. I never, unless I'm being attacked by a reaper or bigger, a really big fish of some kind, I always go at mid-speed. And the reason why is because if you go any faster, you start a fire. And yes, we have uh, emergency uh, fire extinguishers on board, but until I have the fire suppression system, which is far more effective at dousing fires than anything else, there's no reason to risk it. So, it's better to just wait. And we've gotten super dark now, which I'm sure is going to look lovely on our video. I haven't figured out how to not make this look Gross and weird. Alright, now we can... I think we can start sending... And I'm pressing the wrong button. Ooh, another glittery golden one. There's a bonefish over there. Alright, this is... These floating islands right here are usually the worst. I hit something. Okay. Come at you at the right angle. Alright, now I can start dropping. It's gonna go straight down. I need to go a little more forward. Okay, so that's the life pod. There's a train. So that's where we're going. There's a life pod. I'm just gonna look around for a second. Well, I knew, I knew a, a floater got onto us. I knew it. I'm gonna have to take care of that. Alright, warpers. Okay, let's send a little further. 
was hoping I could catch a glimpse of the ghost of Arthur out here, but we'll see the one inside in just a minute, so... Let's turn the boat to point the right direction. We're gonna get on top here so we can see that we're not getting anything. On bottom. Something just ran out of power. What just ran out of power? Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Oh, I wonder if that first, uh... What's it called, um... I wonder if that was the first battery going down. Okay, so I usually like to park right around here. It's a little difficult to get out of the... back into the Cyclops from here, but it's better than nothing. Alright, and this should be a safe location for the Cyclops. We're on set and running, so nothing should be after us. So essentially what we're looking for are uh, nickel ore, as you can see we need uh, two, five, eight, eight nickel ore, and five, uh, five uh, crystallized Sulfur. Okay, I also need two arrow gels. Oh, that, this is what the arrow gels and stuff are for. Two arrow gels. Okay. I need the... Two rubies. And one of these. There we go. Need another one of these. Okay. And then I need the one, two, three, four, five titanium and one lithium. Okay, so that's all of the stuff that I brought with me except for the depth module mark one. It's right there. Okay. So now I, I have everything that I need already, except for the stuff that I need to find. So that makes things easier. Now I know I just have to find the 8 nickel and the 5 uh, crystallized sulfur. Alright, down we go. Welcome to the river. There's one of the freak, freaky creatures down here already. And I know crystalline sulfur is, the, is relatively easy to find, but it's down in this green gas. Now, this, this green gra gas is highly poisonous to humans, so you can't go in it. Uh, but you can get close without getting too damaged. You can also go in it entirely as long as you're in your suit. So the prawn suit, as long as you're in your prawn suit, you are sealed in so you can't take damage while you're in it. Uh, apparently this is not, I don't know if they, they might have fixed this, but apparently... Sorry, that's a, that's a song I don't recognize. Scared the crap out of me, too. Uh, apparently, you can't go into the screen stuff in the. What's it called? The sea moss. Like, you take damage if you're in the sea moss, which is weird. Uh, but then again, that was. Uh, that was something I think I saw in someone else's video. 
and that was also a long time ago. So, who knows if that's still true. Alright. I hear you. I hear you, ghost. I know you're around. That's why I'm in my prone suit. Do some considerable damage. Alright. There he is. I just saw his tail. I don't know if you can see his tail because usually oops, that's not what I want to do. I'll keep doing that. I don't know where I just flung that thing, but Oh, there's some nickel. Alright, you can just go ahead and die, thank you. Alright. So there's the nickel. At least the first bit. This might give us, give us all that we need, but I highly doubt it. Nickel always seems incredibly difficult to get. Let's see, there we go. Alright, four. Six. Two more and we're good, but I guarantee I'll only get one. Yes. <laughs> it's the way it goes. I see you over there, Spider Boy. Leave me alone. I'm drilling right now. And now you're dead. Where's the other one? I thought there were two of you. Alright, I'm gonna scan Blood Crawler because I can. I'm gonna grab that diamond because I can. Alright, so that's not a bad start. This is titanium. Uh, oh, more nickel. Might as well get another one just to be safe. The other thing is, is that I always end up needing more nickel than I realize, or I need nickel once I get back to the surface for some reason. So getting extra is always recommended. Make sure to get enough nickel and enough, uh, enough kyanite and enough uh, sulfur so that way you, if you need more when you're back in the surface you can just go to your locker and get it instead of having to travel all the way back down here in hopes of finding some which could take hours it usually doesn't take hours but it could Okay, so that's nickel, nickel, nickel. We got plenty of nickel. Why is this one taking so long? Am I not focused on it or am I too far away? Now you're here. Leave me alone. And there's the ghost leviathan again. Okay, so that's all of that nickel. I got more than I... Oh boy. There it is. The ghost. And you. I don't like you either. Okay, that one should be dead. Okay, let's see here. Now, the way I remember this is that the ghost really usually stayed away from where I currently am. Like, it, it usually didn't get as close as I've been seeing it lately. Uh, but, like I said, that was a long time ago. It could have changed drastically since then. Okay, get off me. Thankfully, they can't do any damage to my... Prawn suit. Alright, I've got three. I need at least two more. And if I can, I should find a lot more. But, once again, I can't go into... That's, that's the biggest issue with finding, uh... uh crystalline sulfur, is that... 
It likes to hide underneath this dark stuff. And you can't pick it up with your prawn suit unless you use the regular prawn suit arm. So you have to risk your own health. Alright, I just need one more for all the upgrades. Interesting. There's a diamond growing in that pot. Come on, there we go. And let go on for the run. There we go. Alright, now let's go do the stupid thing. So, just because I love... Okay. This is not the correct time to be coming up here. Because the Ghost Leviathan is right there. This is the safest place you could be with the Ghost Leviathan around. Ghost Leviathan can't really hurt you while you're in here. Now these guys can. Thank you for scaring the crap out of me. But you're at least safe from the ghost for now. And you can even damage him a little bit if he gets close enough. You need to go away. Or die. One or the other. Now the reason why I come in here is because, like I said, safest place to be to observe the ghost Leviathan and all of his friends, but also because I like to scan the skull. Because the skull has a history to it. So, we'll scan the skeletal remains. You have to be kidding me. Alright, gigantuan fossil. Okay, there goes the ghost. He's behind me now where I can't see him, so of course he's a lot more dangerous now. Since we can't see where he is, he could be anywhere. You are not the ghost. You are annoying. There's the ghost. Hey, ghost. Alright, looks like he took a bite of that other one. Honestly, before, he would get pretty close to the skull, but he couldn't get into it. So I was able to scan him, believe it or not. And I don't think he's gonna let me scan him this time, though. He's pretty much avoiding the skull altogether. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'd rather not have to face down, um, Leviathan like that, if I can avoid him. But hey, now we've seen one up close. Okay. Yep, there he goes. Right, since you're heading that way, I'm gonna head the other way. Don't tell me you turned around already. Stupid giant fish, leave me alone. Okay, he's not following, which is a good sign. We do not want him to follow us home. I definitely need to find some more sulfur, but for now at least we can head back and start doing some upgrading. Which will help out a lot. It also means I no longer need the... No longer need to be super close to the ghost. Alright, let's try that again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Good. Uh, oh. Let's turn off. Okay. I am low on water and food. So let's get some lantern fruit. And this is why I plant an indoor grow bed in here. I also have the bulbo tree for sustenance. But for right now, I'm just going to grab some extra bottles of water, which are in this lot. Alright, let's drink you. There we go. 
all good. Okay, before we do anything else, I'm going to save the game. Because you should always save the game. Alright, now let's take some of the nickel out. One, two, three, four, five. I think that should be everything we need for now. One pound. Why are you in- Don't tell me! Are you kidding me? Oh no! Oh no! Apparently I left Saturn running on, and everything is now unpowered. That's not good. Alright, I need this. At the very least, I need that. Depth module mark 2. We're also right- Oh, that's because of the, the stupid thing on my hull, which I need to get rid of. Okay, so I got that. I definitely want... Oh no, I can't, I can't do the prawn suit, I just realized. Of course I can't do the prawn suit, because that would require me to have a vehicle module thing of above. So these ones I can't do until we build a bait, but I can do the fire suppression system. Okay. So the reason why we keep bouncing up and down is because of the stupid fish on our hull. Okay, so now I want to swap module mark 2 for module mark 1. That's why you build an extra one. And then fire suppression system will be for the sonar. And then we'll do the decoy tube later. I've only got one battery left, so I have to make it on this one battery all the way down into the depths. And the only reason why my batteries drained was because I left Simon running going. So that tells you how screwed we are. 16% power to make it all the way down to the lowest of to one of the lowest spots here. And we all we also have to avoid hitting the stupid Leviathan. And the roof. And all these trees. Huh. Stressful. I really hope I can make it all the way down there. Okay, I'm scraping the ceiling because I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I need to... Hold on. Turn this off. Still at 14% power, so that's good. I cannot believe that three so much power. That's insane, but like I said, that's why you gotta double check, make sure that everything's turned off. Even even lighting can just drain everything. And you should not be down here. Because you are, I'm gonna leave you down here. What the fuck? Phew. Okay then. There. That's what I wanted you to do. I have never, ever seen a floater automatically head straight to the nearest object. I have always seen them essentially just float straight up. That was weird. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Give me power. Okay, that should be the route down. The hardest part is going to be getting over to it without hitting anything. Remember, I'm pressing C, not spacebar. C, not spacebar. Okay. This should be our route further down. Not what I wanted to press. This is the route further down? I don't think this is the route further down. Is it? I don't think it is. Let me free. No, wait, this has to be the route. Or did I pass it? Oh, 
See, even even me, who's done this so many times, to get absolutely disoriented and lost in the Lost River. Oh, jeez, come on, let me through. Let me through. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck, I said. Come on. Sit up. There we go. Okay. We are free. We are heading towards the drop-off. The next drop-off, I should say. Didn't encounter the ghost. We haven't taken too much damage, it seems. Alright, let me switch to the lower camera so I can see where I'm going. Alright. Here it is. So now usually... I'll park right here on top of this skeleton and I'll go and check out the facility over here. But with as little power as we have now, it might be prevalent to at the very least go park where I usually park this thing. That way I know that I'm in the correct location. No, we still have 13% power. Okay. I think we should be fine. Okay. Alright, so we managed to do a pretty good job of getting down here. It could have been a lot better because I'm so out of power. But it also could have been a lot worse because I could have no submarine left. Okay, so we're not too bad, we're not too good. There's always room for improvement. But yeah, it, uh, we made it halfway. So, this is where I'm going to leave you for today. We've got a base to build, and we've got a place to explore over here. Base building is usually priority number one, but like I said, I usually like to... Uh, explore this on the way down instead of coming back to it later. But we'll see what happens. I, I still have a lot of power left despite, well, I still have a little power left uh, despite coming all the way here, so we seem to be in good shape. Alright, Janine, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a great time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Have a good day.